guys! Today we are going to paint a watercolor landscape illustration. It's going to be a sunset view. The composition looks quite simple, but there are some key points which are crucial if you want to love the result at the end. The first key point is the paper. I have used Fabriano Cold Press 100% cotton paper. It allowed me to work in layers and to use both wet on wet and dry on wet techniques. The second key point is the brush you choose to paint the branches. Its tip should be long and let you draw exquisite lines. I have used my Scuda brush for this part of the work. The third key point is the size of the paper. I have painted on 9 by 12 inches sheet of paper. In my opinion, it's the smallest possible size for this illustration, as you will not be able to paint beautiful branches on the paper which is smaller than 9 by 12 inches. Let's start and paint the background first. We will use Opera Rose and then gradually add yellow ochre to make it look warmer. I am using a small piece of dry clean paper towel to remove the paint from the part of the paper where I want to show the sun. While the paint is still wet, I am adding darker color. I am mixing permanent brown with purple and indigo. At this stage we are working only with the big stains. When this layer becomes dry, it will look lighter, so don't be afraid to use rich tones. Here you can see how I've squeezed the tip of the brush to save the precious color mixture. Now it's time to paint the branches in the background. They should look cold and almost translucent.
First, it was a challenge for me to paint the berries. Or maybe it's the buds. Anyway, it was hard to understand which brush is the best to paint the berries. But then I noticed that it's much more easier to paint them using more watery color mixture, not light. It should be rich both with pigment and water. In this case, the shape of the berries was perfect every time I painted them. I want to add some contrast to the sun by adding more color around it. Don't forget to show the rays by removing the paint with a clean, dry brush. Now I am adding more purple and indigo to the brown to paint the darker branches in the foreground. To make the lines more attractive, I am turning the brush in my hands while painting.
Some more contrast to the sun, as it's one of the most important focal points of this painting. These are the darkest spots of this illustration. I want them to look uneven, as if they were created by nature. As I am using dry and wet technique, I can always soften the edges or remove extra color simply by adding water and using a clean dry paper towel. I hope this video inspired you to paint a stunning watercolor landscape by yourself. If you divide your work into several stages and remember the key points I have mentioned at the very beginning of this video, then you will create an amazing piece of art which will make you very happy and very proud. Thank you for spending your time with me. I wish you an amazing day and see you in the next video. Bye bye. The composition looks quite simple, but there are some The composition looks quite simple, but there are some several key but there are some key points in what we saw. There are so many pictures of this that you cannot hear the sound of it. Ну, типа, вот подвинуться ближе, и тогда вот сейчас hi guys, говорите будет более крупное, а потом дальше будет Hi guys, today we are going to paint a watercolor landscape illustration. Hi guys, today we are going to paint a watercolor landscape illustration.